Hey nursing students, welcome to Simple Nursing's mini lesson series. In this video, we're breaking down Maslow's hierarchy of needs, a theory that shows up everywhere in nursing school, clinicals, and especially on the NCLEX. If you're struggling with priority-based questions, this concept will be your best friend. And if you want to go beyond this video, our Simple Nursing membership has detailed videos, NCLEX-style practice questions, and breakdowns on Maslow's hierarchy, prioritization, and hundreds of nursing topics, taking the stress out of nursing school and the NCLEX. So check out the link in the description to level up your learning. All right, now what is Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Well, Maslow's is a motivational theory created by psychologist Abraham Maslow. He believed that humans must meet their most basic needs first, before they can move on to more complex needs like self-esteem and personal growth. Picture it like a pyramid. The needs at the bottom or foundation are physiological needs like breathing, eating, and sleeping. All of these must be met before we can focus on things like safety, love, and reaching our full potential. This model helps nurses prioritize care. Whether you're taking the NCLEX or working in the hospital, you'll constantly be asking yourself, what is the most critical need that my patient has right now? All right, now let's walk through each level from the bottom of the pyramid to the top with real nursing examples along the way. Starting at level one, physiological needs or basic survival. This is the foundation. These are needs like ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation. Also food, water, and sleep, as well as elimination, temperature regulation, as well as oxygen. In nursing, physiological needs always come first. If your patient can't breathe, well, they won't survive long enough to worry about anything else. So for example, you're caring for a post-op patient. They're confused and they have an O2 saturation of 89%, well below normal, and they're complaining of pain. So what is your priority? Well, in this case, it should be airway and oxygenation. Now moving on to number two, safety and security. Once basic needs are met, next is protection from harm, physically and emotionally. This includes fall risk prevention, infection control, stable housing or job security, also freedom from abuse or trauma. So, for example, let's say we have a confused patient that is trying to get out of bed alone. You'd raise the bed rails and use a sitter or implement fall precautions. Because remember, safety always comes first before comfort. Now let's move on to number three, love and belonging. This is all about human connection. We're talking family, friendships, emotional support, as well as feeling cared for and not isolated. As a nurse, your communication matters here. Building rapport, showing empathy, and treating the patient like a person, not a diagnosis. So for example, asking the patient about their pets, family, or even hobbies or even helping them FaceTime a loved one. These small actions can make a huge difference in building patient rapport. Now, what about number four? This is all about self-esteem, which basically means help people see themselves with confidence, achievement, as well as independence. So here's an example. After surgery, help your patient take a few steps independently. Celebrate that win. You're helping restore their self-worth. This is also where patient teaching comes in because empowering someone to care for themselves boosts their confidence. Now, finally, we get to number five, self-actualization. At the top of the pyramid, we have self-actualization, which basically means becoming your best self. So this might look like setting future goals, creating meaning or finding purpose, or even volunteering or giving back. So here's a nursing example. Let's say during discharge, we're reviewing how far the patient has come. We should be talking about what's next. Always help them see hope and potential, not where they're currently at in this moment. Now let's talk about strategy. You'll constantly see NCLEX questions with priority, first, best, or most appropriate. These are always tricky, but here's a simple three-step breakdown. Number one, identify the topic. What is the question really asking here? Number two, label each answer. Assign each one to a level of Maslow's pyramid. And finally, number three, 
pick the lowest level need. Start from the bottom. Always choose physiological needs first, unless safety is at risk. Now here's an NCLEX sample question. A nurse is caring for a homeless client. Which need takes priority? So go ahead and pause the screen and look at the options here. All right, if you chose option C, or the third option, clothing and shelter, you would be correct, because this is a physiological need. Without warmth or shelter, survival is threatened, and everything else can wait. Now, a quick tip. Where does pain fit in? Well, this is always a great question on exams, and it all depends. If the pain is chest pain, well, it's potentially life-threatening. Well, this is a physiological need that needs to be addressed first. If it's a headache or surgical pain and not life-threatening, well, this is lower priority, possibly psychosocial. So always ask, is the pain affecting survival? Or you can even ask yourself, does this kill the patient or does this harm them? Now let's talk about real-life nursing application. Let's say you're working with multiple patients. Maslow helps you triage and decide who to see first. So for example, patient A has trouble breathing. Think, that is physiological. Patient B is feeling anxious about their diagnosis. Well, that's in their head, that's psychosocial. And patient C wants help using the TV. Well, that's neither physiological or psychosocial. You wanna start with patient A every single time. Because remember, with Maslow's, physiological comes first. It's all about survival. So again, Maslow's hierarchy isn't just a theory. It's a practical tool to make better and safer decisions for you and your patients. It helps you prioritize care. It always shows up on the NCLEX. And it helps you stay focused in high-stress clinical situations. So if you want more help mastering prioritization and NCLEX strategies, check out our NCLEX Review Lecture Series which we hold every few weeks, led by professors and former NCLEX writers. Right now, you can unlock thousands of questions and full video breakdowns in our Simple Nursing membership. You don't have to memorize everything. You just need to know where to focus on the top-tested information. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe so you never miss a lesson. See you guys in the next videos.